there's nothing as stressful as pre-season in Formula One. It's absolutely 24-7. It's the culmination of a year's work for over 700 people leading up to that moment where we pull the covers off and we can see the car for the first time. The one thing that keeps me up at night is waiting to see how the car goes, making sure that it's going to do exactly what we hope it will do. A Formula One car is a complex jigsaw puzzle. More than 13,000 individual components need to be assembled by a skilled team of mechanics and engineers. Every year, each team faces a race against time to design, build and assemble an all-new racing car before it can take to the track for the very first time. This work goes right down to the wire. For head of car build Mark Gray, it is unquestionably the busiest time of the whole year. So my, my role, I'm responsible for the, the car builds. Um, we're building three cars at the moment. Uh, one car is getting ready to go to Bahrain for the test and obviously the launch before that. Um, and the other two race cars will, will go out to Bahrain for the, for the race. So really, really busy time of year. So the stress levels are, are fairly high, but we try and stay as focused as we can. And we've got to get the job done. So uh, we've just got to all work together and uh, work as a team and, and do the best job we can. So as you can see here, it's a, a bare chassis. So it's the, the, the first part that comes to, to me and, and my team. Uh, the first initial job that we do on the chassis is to fit the fuel cell, which is situated behind the driver here. It's one of the, the first jobs that goes in, uh, first major components that go onto the chassis. At the same time, we're looking at the front suspension back down here. Um, we're pre-fitting the front suspension. So that's all of the wishbones, all of the uprights that hang off of that outboard, which the wheel fits to has a lot of electronics that go on it at the same time as well. So the, the car's got a lot of sensors, a lot of looms that go in. They have to go in in an order as well, so we can't fit the back of the car, the engine, until a lot of these main looms are, are in. We move down to the back of the car. We start looking at engine fit, so the engine would be the next part to go on. With the engine, the radiators come into play and all of the cooling system starts to build itself there. A lot of the cooling ducts that you see on top of the engine and down the sides. And from there, we can start looking at the rear end of the car. The rear end can be fitted to the engine and then we're into our fire-up process and making the car come alive before we put it on track. Once that process is done, it's down to bodywork, the floor, the big piece underneath. Um, um, uh, with the side pods, the engine covers, the wings and, and all of the aero parts go onto the car and hopefully at that stage we've got a complete car. At Aston Martin's Silverstone factory, a team of over 700 has spent the past eight months defining the team's new AMR23 car. They've crunched the numbers, built the car and the computer, refined a half-scale model in the wind tunnel and created what they feel is the best car possible. Once that work is complete, hundreds of machinists and fabricators will build the parts needed out of steel, titanium, and Formula One's most useful material, carbon fiber. The team is testing last year's car at Jerez in southern Spain with its new driver, double world champion, Fernando Alonso. So days like Jerez, they are very, very important for me and uh, to get ready for Bahrain. It's a fact that I try always to give my maximum. I'm never demotivated. I need to make sure that I give 100%. I'm ready for the next challenge. This is a very special opportunity uh, for me with this team and, uh, and I see this project a winning one. Despite a winter of intense training, the year's first taste of F1 machinery is always an eye-opener for the drivers. So yeah, we had a, an amazing day back in the car. Always the first day after the, the long winter is very special. The first lap feels, you know, amazing uh, to be back in the car. And uh, finally, officially, I'm an Aston Martin driver. So I really enjoyed the day. Uh, we put some laps, good training as well. After all the, the physical preparation you do over winter. And now I can't wait for Bahrain. It's been a really useful day with Fernando getting all of his initial feedback. So the, some of the most important comments are always the first ones you get when he first drives a car, especially a driver like him that's got so much experience. So it's really uh, just about listening to everything he says and, and pick his brains and all the little details. It's certainly a benefit of having somebody of his experience to do that.
Today is, is an important day, most important day really of the build. We're firing the engine up for the first time, which is always exciting to, to see. It's a crucial point because that is the time where the car comes alive for the first time so that we've, we've had everything talking on its own and everything bolted to the car. But now it all actually comes alive and, and you, see that, uh, you see that car taking shape. Team principal Mike Crack is aware of the pressure. Good morning. So it's four days to go, four days to the car launch. Uh, build is progressing really well. We fired up two days ago. Now the final bits come together. We do some measurements, uh, fit all the bodywork properly so that we're ready. But yeah, qu quite positive the way it went so far. We, uh, I, I try to support where I can, um, where, where uh, is something missing, where uh, can, can we help. Um, the work started a bit earlier already. Uh, we had the lesson learned from, from the previous build um, and tried to do things better. From, from that point of view, it's, it's really motivating how you see things progressing. I'm really, really excited to see it on track soon. For everybody that has contributed into this, they should be proud of, of what they have achieved and what they have delivered. We've got Fernando down in, in Jerez. To, uh, he drove yesterday uh, and it's just, uh, it, it's very, very uh, inspirational what, what he gives to the team. Um, he's, he's fully motivated, he's in touch all the time, he's pushing people. You have seen over the last two years, you know, Lance was, was really able to uh, be very competitive. He's now an established driver and I think uh, he can do just as well uh, compared to Fernando. And I hope we can finally give him the car that he deserves. Or a bit slightly further to the left than... Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's good it work. Be a right, the right direction, yeah. The first time we started thinking about the 23 car was right at the beginning of uh, 2022, really. It's thousands of parts that go into any new car, um, and there's an awful lot new for this car as well. So there's a huge percentage of, of this car is completely having to be completely designed from scratch. It's incredibly stressful at this time of year. We have the phones constantly going. I get emails and Teams messages all the time. So we've got a few days left to go in the build phase. We're obviously getting towards the really critical bit. Things have been going very smoothly. We have encountered one or two issues, but we managed to get on top of that. But obviously that puts extra pressure on the guys to make sure that um, we're staying on, on schedule. And then we are really in the phase of waiting for things like bodywork components to turn up um, and making sure we get all the testing of the critical parts done as well. That's, that's really important at this stage. So the, unfortunately, the car is going to be being worked on right up until the last minute. That is, uh, that's a fact of life at this time of year. We, we try to push all of our releases and our design time right up until the last minute. So it will be, you know, hour by hour, minute by minute until the time where we pull the cars off, pull the covers off the car ready for launch. There's a huge amount of pressure around us as a, as a design team to see how the car is going to perform. It's not until the first test, the first race, that we'll really find out what this car can do and whether it's going to live up to, to all our expectations. Incredibly excited. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, see the car all put together, but also can't wait to show it to the world. It's going to be, it's going to be really exciting. Rehearsals are underway for the next day's VIP launch event, taking place in the team's brand new factory. Soon, the watching world will get their first glimpse of the brand new AMR23. It is nearly time to show the world the AMR23. Less than 24 hours to go. Make sure you set your calendar alerts for 7 p.m. Monday evening to see the brand new AMR23 here at the brand new Aston Martin campus. So this is it, less than 24 hours to go. And we are just in the process of putting the final touches to the car. All the parts have now arrived and it's going to be a race against time really to get everything finished in time. It's been a phenomenal effort to get to where we are now. And as you can imagine, the work of 700 people over the course of the last year now comes down to this moment. And this is what we're extremely excited to show everybody tomorrow. In front of a packed crowd, team owner Lawrence Stroll takes the stage. 
The imminent future, though, is here. Yes. The AMR 23. Under this cover. Under this cover. Mm. It's come together through a lot of hard work. Tremendous amount of hard work by, as I say, close to 800 very, very devoted, dedicated people. There's a buzz through all of Aston Martin, through, through here in Silverstone, through our road car companies in Gaydon and St. Anton. Everybody's really on a high and very motivated about building really the, 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 the greatest high performance ultra luxury brand and we're going to do it. You know, this investment plus the talent is normally a, a, a good recipe for success in Formula One. So hopefully we can make this, this success. I think it's just a really exciting time for, for the team. Um, and yeah, just can't wait to, to get out on track and get behind the wheel. The car launch is a time for talking, but the focus soon turns to the racetrack. Two days after the big reveal, the team moves across the road to Silverstone, venue for July's British Grand Prix, to put the AMR 23 through its paces for the very first time. Everything seems to be working. Yeah, it was it was good. It was very positive to jump in the car finally and uh, and feel a little bit the speed again on a Formula One car. And uh, obviously, uh, yeah, when when the car feels good, it's, it's a double happiness. And the car felt good. Felt um, okay, and the balance was good, and it was easy to drive, which are the things that you are looking for on, on the very first day. That it is not a car that is uh, complex or, or difficult to drive. So. It gave me good confidence and uh, yeah, now a lot of things to analyze, but uh, happy with so far. You know, it's good to, to, to make sure everything works and, um, you know, everything is um, ready, ready to go for Bahrain. Yeah, so I'm feeling, feeling very good today, very positive. It's, uh, it's a culmination of a, a lot of work over the last year. Um, and we've uh, obviously developed last year's car quite significantly, but to see something that's come out, which is, you know, that I've been involved in right from the outset is, uh, is extremely exciting. All in all quite good and uh, we are quite excited to see it uh, in Bahrain in, in a week's time. Next, it's off to the island kingdom of Bahrain, home for round one of the 2023 World Championship and three days of intense pre-season testing with all 10 teams. This is where the team will see how the solutions it adopted, the challenges it overcame, and the technologies it has started developing with Aramco will play out. The aim of the test is to begin to understand the car, to learn how it works, how it responds to changes, and most importantly, how quick it is. Well, we have managed uh, a bit more than 350 laps, uh, se seven, seven Grand Prix distances, so quite a good, quite a good run. Um, so we have learned a lot over the, over the couple of days and uh, we're quite happy with the reliability, how it went. Uh, we would obviously have done, like to have done a little bit more, but all in all, I think it was a very good test over the three days. We have a lot of very, very good and very bright engineers uh, that uh, will spend the next seven days 24-7 uh, in analyzing and coming to the right conclusion. 
and uh, I think uh, they, they, yeah, they will come to the right ones and we will have the right steps for the Grand Prix. The final test still remains. The opening round of the FIA Formula One World Championship. The Bahrain Grand Prix. Aramco. Powered by Howe.